Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm JP with Fire Career Prep and in today's video we're going to be demonstrating a widely accepted method used for catching a hydrant. Included in the video we'll be connecting a storks connection and connecting an accessory, in this case a gate valve. Hydrants are how we supply our frontline engines with water for our interior attack crews. Enjoy the video. The firefighter approaching the hydrant with a large diameter hose and hydrant bag then wraps the LDH around the bottom of the hydrant, places his foot on it, and indicates to the driver to drive. DRIVE! He's then going to remove the spanner from the hydrant bag and crack each cap he intends to remove. He simply spins the threaded cap off and places it out of the way. Here's a close-up of that threaded cap being removed on the side port. The next step is to remove the Stortz threaded cap Here's a close-up of that, he removes it by twisting it and placing it safely out the way. Once complete, he's going to engage a hydrant and flush it until the water runs clear. Once it does, he's going to shut it off, unwind his large diameter hose and connect it to the main port. For a close-up of that connection, he simply unravels the hose, aligns the threads, and twists until he hears a click, ensuring it's secure. He's then going to connect his 2.5 gate valve by holding the gate valve still and spinning the threaded sections onto the hydrant, ensuring a tight fit. Gate valves are used to give firefighters options for water supply on the high ground, as well as to aid in undressing the hydrant. Once these steps are complete, the firefighter will notify his engineer. Pumper E5803, Hydroman ready to send water. When the engineer requests the water supply, you can engage a hydrant again, this time charging the large diameter hose and sending water to the supply truck, being sure to turn the hydrant all the way on and a quarter turn back. Thanks so much for watching the video, I do hope it's been helpful. If you have any comments or questions about catching a hydrant, feel free to leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, and as always, good luck out there.